Now, now, now that that don't kill me, can only make me stronger I need you to hurry up now, cause I can't wait much longer I know I got to be right now, cause I can't get much stronger Man, I've been waiting all night now, that's how long I've been on ya Welcome to Ann Arbor, Michigan at the Ann Arbor Road Course for the Race for the Cure 200. Today we honor all those who are fighting, surviving, or have died to the terrible disease which is cancer. And on the walls here at the track, I have names of tons of people from my fans on Instagram who have commented their names so I can write them down on the walls to honor their name. And to show that they're not alone in their fight and that everyone will fight with them. So if you have someone who, who's in your family has cancer, be by their side, love them. Show them that they're not alone because it, it's a tough fight and my aunt currently has cancer right now and it's sad to see her go through it. Now we're gonna check out your drivers to watch for. And all the cancer schemes in the race from Team Magi, Bryce Harvey, Carter Adelman, and Gino Harvey. All supporting types of cancers. Jamie McMurray now, he has a strong car. Can he get that Cessna Chevrolet in victory lane? And then always one to watch at the road course, it's AJ Allmendinger. Now for, time for the command. Drivers, start your engines. Cars will fire up. And they'll roll off here for 10 laps at the road course. Now for your starting lineup in row one, Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick. In row two, we have Jamie McMurray and Kyle Larson, both teammates in row two. Row three, we have AJ Allmendinger and Tony Stewart. Row four, we have Jimmy and Kyle Busch. In row five, Jeff Gordon and Bryce Harvey. And in row six, Carter Adelman and Matt Kenseth. Row seven today is Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson. Row 8, Gino Harvey and Martin Truex Jr. This is also a very special race for Martin Truex Jr. as well. Row 9, Greg Biffle and Brad Kozlowski. Row 10, Denny Hamlin and Dale Jr. In row 11, Austin Dillon and Carl Edwards. In row 12, Paul Menard and Eddie Jones. Sitting in row 13 today, we have Casey Kane and David Reagan. In row 14, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Trevor Bain. In row 15, Josh Wise and Ryan Newman. In row 16, Clint Boyer and Ty Dillon making another start in the series. Row 17, David Gillen and Regan Smith. Row 18, Ryan Blaney and Justin Allgaier. In row 19, Chris Buescher and Eric Amarola. Row 20, Michael Annette and Danica Patrick. Row 21, we have Sam Horns Jr. and Casey Mears. Then in row 22, we have Landon Castle. Now it's time for the green flag at Ann Arbor Road Course. We are green for the race for the Cure 200. AJ Allmendinger making it three wide going into turn one. He'll pick up to the third position. As he hunts down race leaders, Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick. Looks like Harvick's going to try and get a good runoff for the final turn on Joey. He's going to duck down low through turns one and two. Harvick to the lead through turn three they go. Now up to the tricky hairpin in turn four. Harvick's got the lead. Go through turns five and six. Oh, Joey Logano gets bumped in turn five. JJ Allmendinger into the second position trying to chase down Kevin Harvick. At the University of Michigan Health System. They go by, oh, Kyle Busch looks like he got into the wall there. He's going to have some cosmetic damage to that car. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Kevin Harvick in the race lead. A.J. Allmendinger in second. Jimmy going underneath Jamie McMurray for position. Oh, we got a car around. It's Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson goes nose first into the wall. Hard hit for Jimmy. Looks like he might have been tapped by Greg Biffle as Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson both have hard hits. Kyle Busch has already got that win, so he's locked in. So Jimmy Johnson needs a win, but he's in the chase currently. Yeah, it looks like Greg Biffle does get into the back of Jimmy Johnson. That's not good. All right, green flag is back out in the air. Kevin Harvick is a great restart. Now Kyle Larson is going to go to the inside of A.J. Allmendinger. Here comes Tony Stewart in the second place. A.J. Allmendinger back by Kyle Larson, but Kevin Harvick has the race lead, and Tony Stewart's trying to chase him down. Fly by the field as they go through turn five and... Turn four, and, or five and six, sorry. Truex into the wall. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, we got a car around. It's Regan Smith, Ty Dillon. Cars wrecking the back of the pack. With Ryan Blaney, David Gillen, and Justin Allgaier. Wow, look at Ty Dillon. 
he just gets into Regan Smith, and you know those two have history in the Xfinity series. Wow. Yeah, but I think Ty Dillon got bumped and spun around there, so Regan Smith probably shouldn't be too mad at Ty, but, you know, he doesn't have much leniency for Ty Dillon, so that's the unfortunate part. Green Flag is back out here in the Athletic Cup Series. Oh, A.J. Allmendinger gets a great restart. So does Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart to the race lead, but here comes A.J. Allmendinger. Allmendinger has this... Key line to turn four. He'll take the lead. Here comes Kyle Larson trying to hunt him down in five and six. Out of six, they come to the line. Three laps to go. AJ Allmendinger in the lead, but Kyle Larson is all over that back bumper. Yeah, Larson's not going to let him out of his sights. Out of turn four. Through the bus stop. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. Stewart goes around. As the leaders make contact, Tony Stewart tries to get by him, and he goes around and collects Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano. Check this out. Watch this Larson and A.J. Allmendinger beat and bang. Stewart tries to get around him and just goes right through the grass and back up into the field over the curb. Kevin Harvick, he had a nice top five car going, possibly a winning car. He just got kind of screwed over on a restart. Watch this Larson and Allmendinger beat and bang going into turn five and six. Larson loses his back into the car and watch the Stewart there. tries to pass him. Gets into the grass, back up into the track, involving Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano. Late race restart in Ann Arbor. Green flag with two laps remaining. Here we go. Almendinger and Larson battle for the race win. Can anybody else get by him? Here comes Gino Harvey racing for his aunt. Can he get to the lead? But Larson's got it over A.J. Almendinger. Almendinger through turn five and six. He gives Larson the, the bumper. A.J. Almendinger to the race lead. Kyle Larson back to second. Larson has a fast car, though. He's not going to let AJ get by him through the hairpin, down through the chicane. Here comes Larson going through the high side. He gets into him. AJ Allmendinger spins out. Kyle Larson ends up winning this race as AJ Allmendinger goes through the grass. An agonizing defeat as Kyle Larson gets the victory in Ann Arbor. What a finish here, folks. Watch as Allmendinger wrecks off a of turn six. Larson... Oh, I don't know if he really turned him. Or did Almendinger just come across his bumper? Yeah, it looks like Larson just kept his line straight. And he did get into him. But I don't think that was uh, intentional. I think that was incidental. So, looks like Kyle Larson will get the victory. Celebrate, young fella. Third win in his career. Second of the year. Congratulations, Kyle Larson. So, Kyle Larson gets the victory here today. And he'll move up one position in the point standings as we will check those out. Yep, Kyle Larson up to second in the standings over Kevin Harvick. Because he has more points with the two wins than Kevin does. And Jeff Gordon's first with those three wins. So as you got Danica Patrick down in 11th. She is really, really close to that cut line still like we talked about last week. Here's the chase cutoff. Carl Edwards, he's got that 16th position over Kurt Busch. But if Danica falls out of the top 30, Kurt Busch gets that nod. He'll go up one spot. Yeah, that, I don't think Kurt Busch really wants his teammate to fall out, but if she did, that'd be much better for Kurt. You see Danica, she had 291 points, so she would sit to in 29th position if she didn't have that win. So she's still in that top 30, but she's very, very close to falling out. Clint Boyer is the one chasing her, really. He's, uh, what's that, only seven, yeah, seven points behind? That's, uh, that's not good for Danica. Not good. So uh, she did get that win, but she looks like she's going to lose her uh, ability to get into the chase with that win if she can't stay inside that top 30. But she's got quite a few races to do it. We're just over halfway in the season, so we'll see if Danica can maintain her position in the chase. Now here's your finishing results. First is Kyle Larson today. Congratulations, buddy. I don't think you really intentionally wrecked A.G. Allmendinger. And Allmendinger, he probably knows what he did wrong, and he's probably kicking himself for that. Third, what a finish today for Geno Harvey. Congratulations to him for finishing strong for his aunt and so did Bryce Harvey as well I think he ended up around seventh or eighth so he's yep there he is congratulations Bryce and Gino both top 10 finishes for their aunt today and you know how much this race means to them ninth today was Matt Kenseth who really needs a strong run because I believe he's like 28th in the point standings so Kenseth's not having a good year Dale Jr he's in the chase so is Carl Edwards as of now I mean if we don't get any more winners they, they should be comfortably in the chase but if they could get a win that would help them out a lot 
14th today was Greg Biffle, who had a nice run, but he ended up wrecking Jimmy Johnson, I believe. Carter Adaman racing for his grandpa today. He only comes up with a 16th place finish, but he has a win, so he's in the chase. So not much um, pressure on Adaman this year. Eddie Jones finishes 18th. 19th today was Ryan Newman, and then 20th was Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain with a nice top 20 finish. He's been rallying off some pretty good finishes lately to keep his point standings up so he doesn't follow that top 30. 21st today was Martin Truex Jr. racing for his girlfriend, uh, Cherry Pollux. And it's sad that he ended up getting in the wall today, but it doesn't look like he really hurt his uh, speed, so he kept up around the 20th. 26th today, Josh Wise. 27th was Eric Amarola. And then 28th today was Danica Patrick, who we talked about a lot. She needs to start kicking it, kicking it in. Uh, top 20 finishes will definitely get her in a chase, but... If she can't do that, then she's in trouble. 31st today was Michael and that. 32nd, Casey Mears, who is also close to falling out of the chase. Or, I mean, out of the top 30. 34th today was uh, Kevin Harvick. 35th was Joey Logano. I believe that's his first DNF of the year. So, Joey's, Joey's had a very good year. So, he just needs that win to cap it off. 38th is Regan Smith. 39th today was David Gillen. 40th. Ryan Blaney, and then 41st was Justin Allgaier, and then finishing 42nd and 43rd was Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch, both getting wrecked by Greg Biffle, I believe, and that's my opinion, so uh, here's your DNQs for today, I forgot to show them in the starting lineup, and then what a great race, off to Seattle for the next race, hope everybody enjoyed this race, this race means a lot to me, and I hope everybody can have some nice comments, so have a good time, JG24, JM26, signing out.